what's up guys Benny here and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video and this week there's been some pretty major changes to what guns people are using as well as their loadouts because of this week's weapon changes that you'll probably heard about where certain weapons have been buffed and become really good and others like the Growl have been nerfed and won't be used as much as they once were. So in this video I'm going to give you some of the best loadouts and gun setups that you can be using in the game right now as I know a lot of you have been asking for this video since the update so you know exactly what weapons you should be using but before we get into our first loadout 73.7% .7 of you watching this video are not subscribed so subscribe and you'll become a better warzone player I promise one of the biggest changes was knocking down the growl by just a little bit, which has opened up loads of other weapons for you to be able to use as your assault rifle. And the Bruin MK9 has been my go-to since the update. For an LMG, it is incredible with the 60 round mag attachment, transforming the weapon into what is one of the best assault rifles in the entire game. The Bruin itself is a heavy hitter dealing 46 damage to the head and then 36 to the chest, meaning you can drop fully armored opponents pretty quickly. The Bruin's fire rate is 750 rounds per minute, which is similar to other assault rifles like the Kilo and the Growl, but also has almost no recoil, especially with the build I'm about to show you. The only pain with the Bruin is that to unlock it, you have to get kills near smoke, which can be a bit of a grind, but definitely worth it. Now on the Bruin itself, you'll want to have the Monolithic Suppressor, the XRK Summit 26.8 barrel, the TAC Laser, the 60 round mag, like I mentioned earlier, and then the VLK 3 times scope. Now the scope is crucial as it allows you to be able to really easily control the Bruins recoil and make it an absolute laser with one of the fastest times to kill in the game. Just remember it doesn't have as high mobility as the Kilo for example so the Bruin is the perfect weapon to hold a position in a gunfight. Ideally you want players running at you and you'll wipe entire squads. Then I pair it with an MP5 which did get a nerf to its damage range but still performs as one of the best SMGs in the the game up close, dealing 49 damage to the head and 34 to the body with a fire rate of 800 rounds per minute. I use the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, the FTAC Collapsible Stock, the Merc 4 Grip, 45 round mag and then stippled grip tape. Then the perks are double time, overkill and amped with a C4 and a heartbeat sensor. Then my second loadout is my Kilo MP7, which I feel are the weapons people have been using to replace the old Growl MP5 meta. The Kilo especially is a very, very good weapon that has a faster time to kill than the Growl and is also super easy to use. It has a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute. Remember, the Growl had 730. What's also so good about the Kilo is it's also got a fast reload speed of 1.34 seconds and that solid 556 weapon damage profile of 42 damage to the head and then 28 to the body. On the Kilo build itself, you'll want to use the Monolithic Suppressor, Syngard Arms 19.8 Prowler Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, and then the 60 round mag. Then I use the VLK 3x Optic, which is something I've started using a lot more on most of my weapon builds in Warzone because of how the game's aim assist works. It's so much easier to control recoil and land your shots on opponents at a distance more consistently. Just remember, when using the Kilo, play pretty much the exact same way you would with the Growl. It won't be as good at long range, but nor is the Growl anymore, and you'll have a lot of fun with it to boot. Then I've also started using the MP7 a little bit more, which is a really strong SMG, which is really easy to use. It'll deal 40 damage for a headshot and 34 to the body, with the second highest fire rate among the SMGs with 950 rounds per minute. I'll use the Monolithic Suppressor, the FS recon barrel, the TAC laser, the Merc 4 grip, and then the 60 round mag, which is a great all round build. Where the MP7 excels though, is those short to medium range gunfights. It'll be every other SMG outside of those super close range fights. But why the MP7 is once again up there as one of the best SMGs is that it's so easy to use. The recoil is non-existent, which paired with that 60 round mag and 950 rounds per minute fire rate, you can drop people pretty quickly. Then the perks and equipment were the same as my last class and will be for the majority of the classes. 
Okay, now this is a brand new class that a lot of you are going to want to start using because the gun that got the biggest buff in this week's update was actually the Foul. The weapon that no one wanted to touch with a barge pole is now one of the strongest weapons in the entire game because of its one-shot headshot kill potential. Within 19 meters, the Foul will now deal 105 damage for a headshot and 78 to the body, which, as you can imagine, can allow you to drop enemies very, very quickly, especially especially when you take into account the potential fire rate of the foul if you've got a fast trigger finger as it can be fired quickly and accurately. Which is why I use this particular weapon build in Warzone. I use the Molifix Suppressor, followed by the XRK Marksman Barrel, then the TAC Laser, Range of Foregrip, and the Corp Combat Hollow Sight, which I find works really well on the foul. You don't need an extended mag of any sort because you get 20 rounds in the default clip, which is enough with a single shot weapon. Honestly, the foul is a lot of fun to use and easily has one of the fastest times to kill in the entire game. I then pair it with my MP5 build, which includes the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, the FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 Round Mag, and the Stipple Grip Tape, with the same perks and equipment once again. Next, we have another assault rifle that is once again very, very viable to use and is probably the closest to how the Growl used to play, but just not quite as good. But it's a very fun weapon to use and that's my M13 loadout. The M13 itself has a lower damage profile with 36 damage to the head and 24 to the body, but has a 900 round per minute fire rate, which is miles ahead of the majority of assault rifles and also has like no recoil. On the M13 itself, you'll want the Monolithic Suppressor, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, 60 round mag, and then I also use that Corp Combat Hollow Sight again, which I'm really enjoying using at the moment as my close range sight if I'm not using the VLK. This is the assault rifle which you'll beat almost everyone at those medium range gunfights with, especially if you land your headshots thanks to that incredible 900 RPM rate of fire. Then I pair it with an MP5, which is still my go-to SMG, though I do have a gun that could potentially potentially, potentially replace it later in the video, which I'd love to get your opinion on. Then it's that same MP5 once again, the Monolithic Integral Suppressor, the FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 Round Mag, and the Stipple Grip Tape with the same perks and equipment. Next, we have a Sniper class, which also uses the Ram Assault Rifle because the Ram is the best assault rifle at close range. So for my particular play style, it's the best weapon to pair with a Sniper for all round gameplay. You could also use the Kilo if you wanted to, but the Ram is actually a really good AR, dealing 42 damage to the head and 28 to the body, but also having a fire rate of 860 rounds per minute, which is going to allow you to drop enemies very quickly. It's got the fastest time to kill potential out of all the automatic assault rifles, but can be a little harder to use, especially at range. But on the RAM itself, you want the Monolithic Suppressor, the FSS Ranger Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, the 50 round mag, and then finally, I like to use the Canted Hybrid with the RAM, which seems to work really well for me. Then paired with the RAM, you can pretty much use any sniper as they all got buffed this week. But the one that got buffed the most was the Car 98K, and this thing is now an absolute beast. The Car 98 got a faster aim down sight speed, a reduction to its hip fire spread, and also, most importantly, increased damage range. This means you can snap onto targets so quickly and get your one shot headshot kills no problem at all, especially with this build, which is the Monolithic Suppressor, the 27.6 Singard Barrel, the TAC Laser, Sniper Scope, and then Stippled Grip Tape. This is what I found works best, especially for the fast paced nature of Warzone. You could also use the HDR or AX50. I'd avoid the right tech till they sort the headshot bug out, but once that's a one shot kill, every single sniper is a viable choice. Then my perks and equipment are the same as before. Then you have to include the classic weapon for Modern Warfare and is still up there as one of the best guns in the game, the M4A1. Now I've started tending to use weapon sights on my guns now rather than iron sights, so this is the class I'd recommend you use. Now the M4 will deal 42 damage to the head and 28 to the body with a fire rate of 800 rounds per minute. Then on the M4A1 itself, I use the Monolithic Suppressor, the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, the 60 round mag, and then the Corp Combat Hollow Sight, which I found is a really solid all round build for the gun. Remember, not to use no stock anymore since that got a drastic nerf to your gun's recoil this week. 
Then paired with the M4A1, you can use any SMG, but the Fennec is always fun to use if you want to mix things up a bit and is deadly at close range. It's got the same damage profile as the MP7 with 40 damage to the head and 25 to the body, but also has a fire rate of 1,100 rounds per minute. The only downside is the gun's mag size and slow reload speed, which is why I use the ZLR Deadfall Barrel, the Merc 4 Grip, the 40 round drum mag, stippled grip tape, and then slight of hand, then my perks and equipment are once again the same. Then I also have my CR56, which did get a little bit of a nerf this week, but it's still a really good and fun assault rifle to use if you want to mix things up. I'd still suggest to use the Kilo over it, but it's a great option. It deals 56 damage to the head and 42 to the body, which means you can down enemies pretty quickly, though it does have a slower rate of fire, so you have to make your shots count at 620 rounds per minute. On the CR56, you'll want to use the Molifix Suppressor, the XRK Zodiac Barrel, then the Ranger Foregrip, 45 round mag, and then a VLK 3x scope, as that's really going to help you control the recoil. Then with the CR56, I tend to use the MP5 to use at close range, and it's that build we saw earlier. The Molific Integral Suppressor, the FTAC Collapsible Stock, Merc Foregrip, 45 round mag, and stippled grip tape. Now you'll probably notice this next class actually has the AUG in it, which I think could be the replacement for the MP5 at close range, and I'd love to hear your opinions on that down in the comments. But I use the Growl with the Molifix Suppressor, Archangel Barrel, Tac Laser, Commando Foregrip, and 50 round mag. Yes, the Growl did get a nerf, but it's still a really good weapon to use. So don't get me wrong, it's not as powerful as it once was. It's still very, very good and definitely usable. But what I want to focus on in this class, as we all know how to set up our Growls, is the AUG. Now, I genuinely believe the AUG could be the replacement to the MP5. Yes, it doesn't have a fast ADS time and the recoil is harder to manage but up close the time to kill is insane when you're using the 556 rounds you'll deal 55 damage a bullet to the head which is six more than the mp5 and then 34 to the chest which is the same as the mp5 it's then got a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute and has that longer damage range which the MP5 has now lost. Honestly, it's really, really good, and you should definitely give it a go. The build I've been using is the Molifix Suppressor, the 407mm Extended Barrel, the Tac Laser, the Merc Foregrip, and then that 60 round drum mag. But use it exactly the same way you would use the MP5 to get the most out of it, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Then my perks and equipment are the same as the other classes. Then my final two classes are used for the second loadout drops where I get my ghost perk. So I have an SMG ghost class and an assault rifle ghost class. Now what I personally do is I switch the primary weapon to whichever SMG or assault rifle I'm using at the time. So in this case, I've got the AUG for the SMG class and the Bruin for the assault rifle class. So whichever assault rifles and SMGs you like from this video, put these as your primary in your ghost class loadouts. Also on your SMG class, make sure you put the fully loaded perk on your pistol as it shares ammo with your SMG. Then I use an RPG with my assault rifle class just in case I need it for end game. But those are my best loadouts for season 4.5. Share yours down in the comments below and click on one of the videos on screen right now for more Warzone content and I'll see you there.